Yo what's going on guys, it's Tom and welcome back to a brand new video and a bit of a special one today and a bit of a different one for you guys and uh, one to hopefully help you out in the uh, current F1 game status. Now um, as we know it's that time of year again where the new F1 game comes out and a lot of people constantly ask me in my comment section two things. One, what are your settings? Number two, what are your camera settings? Because people seem to like the offset T cam that I run. So um, I'm going to do that in this particular video for you guys and uh, bear in mind this is still early days, I've only had the game for a few days but uh, so far this is the balance that I've found. Um, just a small disclaimer, this is my personal preference, so these may not work for you or your will. Um, I use a Logitech G27, so my rule may be different to yours and I'm on the PC platform, but um, we're going to jump into it now and uh, have a look for ourselves. Now, if you go into the um, settings, obviously if you're on a PS4 controller or on the PS4, um, you want to press the triangle button in the main menu, jump into the settings and go to the customized controls. Now, uh, in terms of the control schemes, you want to jump into there and you'll see that you'll have the, um, one of the, one of the, one of the default ones. In, in theory, you should have your wheel plugged in, which is this one here, the Logitech G27, but I've already made my custom, which is down here on the custom control schemes tab. So we're going to jump into this one here, which is the one that I've made and have a look at it. So we're going to click edit and have a look to see what we have. Now, um, I have rearranged a few buttons. I don't know if you guys want to know them or not, but uh, I'll just quickly mention them anyway. So essentially, I've changed the uh, next camera button. So instead of being it on the wheel on the G27, uh, I've switched it to being the triangle button. Um, just to try and get it out of the way and get it off the wheel. Because instead, I like to use the um, the button that is next camera on the steering wheel on the G27. I want to use that as the look back button. So I can see behind me. And that way I've got all the buttons on the actual steering wheel themselves and I haven't got to like move my hand elsewhere. Also I've disabled the instant replay feedback, uh, sorry, the instant replay flashback button as I don't really need it and I don't use it. And I think other than that, that is all of it. So those are the two little small tweaks that I make in terms of the controls. But uh, now in terms of the calibration, as you can see my wheel is currently plugged in. I'm using a controller to make this video just to skim through the menus but my wheel is plugged in as you can see here. All the inputs are working nicely for me. And I've got to say, just like last year's game, I'm very happy with it being all on zero percent i have no need to um, i understand if you've got more complex wheels or different wheels like for example your fanatex or your logitech g29s you may need to tweak a few settings like maybe your dead zone or your linearity or your saturation but um with my wheel logitech g27 i'm very happy with how the full game is and i don't have any urge or need to uh, change it so we're going to jump into the very interesting part and the part that um i think this is the part that is going to really change your game so in this year's game a uh, very interesting stat i believe last year the vibration and full feedback overall strength uh, you could only put up max out to 100 on this year's game you can go all the way up to 100 and 50. Now uh, I've decided to go for 115, that's what I personally like and that's what more or less suits me. It's a nice heavy wheel without it being too heavy and if it snaps out of my hand it's not going to break my wrist. Um, also on track effects, rumble strip and off, tra off track effects, everything that the, ra the, the name says is basically what it is, on track effects, anything like bumps, you know, little uh, maybe inconsistencies in the tarmac, rumble strips and then obviously off track like grass, gravel and the outside tarmac and obviously like little particles, like little bits of rubber, all these little things. Are um, uh, basically, I've turned them down quite a lot because I do a lot of live commentaries and I don't want my wheel um, just making a lot of noise. So I turn these down quite a lot just to, to try and lower the noise and so you don't hear it too much from a microphone. In terms of what I would like, in terms of preference, um, I think somewhere around maybe 25 for this or 20 is about right. I've got it down on 10, just a little bit lower because I don't want it to be just putting me off. Also the rumble strips and the off track about 30. So you're probably looking to about 10 to 15 units higher what I've got right now, but I've got them just turned down a little bit more because of the reasons I just mentioned. Also the real weight, I've got on 100 just to make it as heavy as possible and the understeer enhanced feeling, I've got that on. So like this says on the bottom there, um, it lets you know where the, the limit of the grip is, which is something that you do really need in this year's game and uh, it really does make the cars, um, basically you can feel when you're really getting that car on the limit on the ragged edge. So I would urge to maybe keep that saying activated because it's very, very important. But yeah, those are pretty much the rule settings or this part of the video in terms of what I use. Like I said, the calibration, I run everything on zero. I'm very happy with how the game is by default. The, the real difference and where you really notice if the game is enjoyable or not and where you get it to your liking is in the vibration and full feedback tab. So that is where I suggest for you guys to, um, do your raw settings and also have a look at them but uh, we're now going to jump into the camera settings and uh, what I run for the offset T cam which you may be surprised but this year's games are actually pretty good for default cameras but I'm going to I've made some small tweaks so I'm going to show you them anyway and you guys can copy them if you want at your own will 
So I got a lot of compliments on my um, Ferrari preview career mode in terms of the camera settings that I use. So we're going to show you now. So I'm just going to quickly pause it here. Like I said, I'm on the controller. So um, we're going to jump into the preferences tab and uh, go down to camera options. Now within this setting, as you, I'm currently on the TV pod offset. So wherever you're on, that's what it's going to be on. Um, in terms of the camera settings, there's not much I've changed. However, there's one thing I would urge you to do to really uh, make it better for you. Something that I personally like quite a lot and that's something that's very realistic. Uh, turn the camera shake off completely because if you've got it on, it's just basically that arcade sort of camera shake which doesn't exist in real life when you watch F1 through the TV. On the, through the TV. So um, I would urge you to turn off the camera shake because um, that makes a huge difference. Also, the mirror angle that's custom to whatever car you're driving. I'm driving the full Cindia, so I've got it set to 015. I'm just showcasing the Ferrari in this particular video. And then, uh, in terms of custom settings, very minor tweaks. Um, I've got the angle on minus 0.05. So, if you change the value, you can see there it aims the camera down. So, essentially, if I go all the way down, as you can see, it's going to aim the camera down. And then we go all the way up, it's going to aim the camera upwards. So, um, because of the setting, obviously, the fault is pretty damn good. But I want it just a little bit lower at 0.05. Then offset vertical is going to be how high it is and how low it is. Not actually changing the angle of which the camera is pointed at. So because of this, I'm just going to run it slightly lower at 0.5. And also finally, the offset horizontal on the camera is how far back and how far forward you have the camera. So as you can see here, you can go as far forward as that. You can go really far back if you wish to, even to the point where you can see the roll hoop on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. But uh, I'll run it at 0.05. In 2016, I did have a bit more different settings, but this year, there's not much need, especially for the TV pod offset. If you're running the straight T-cam, it's a bit more subjective. Um, I still haven't found the ideal settings because I don't, I don't plan on using T-cam on this game yet. But um, I think if I were to do something on the fly right now, but put it all back to the full for my liking of what I like on, the, on, on my games, um, I think I definitely have the angle turned down a bit. And also the field of view would have to go up a little bit, I think. Um, possibly uh, in terms of the height, I think I'd probably go a bit higher. Maybe around 25 there. Increase the angle even more to maybe about 50. And I think that would be something that I'd be happy with. Also, by the way, just to note, um, camera shake off again. Uh, let me show you here on the TV pod normal camera shake off and if you're running the normal tv pod also turn off the camera movement um in, in, on the offset you don't have the option to but turn off both of these settings if you're running the t-cam because it's going to make a huge difference as i'll showcase now um, we're going to quickly change camera here so let me find the button for it there we go because i'm on the controller so we're going to switch cameras so this is something that i would run on the t-cam something like this and uh, there's no camera movement so when you're going through the corners or you're braking really hard the camera as you can see on screen just doesn't move, it stays static. So that is more representative of what you see on the F1 on TV in real life. So hopefully this video has been informative for you guys and you have enjoyed it. And uh, if it has helped you out, let me know in the comments down below. But uh, last year I got a lot of comments asking me what were my settings. So there you go, you now got my settings. And uh, let me know in the comments down below, maybe yours also, if you like them. You know, if you want to know anything else about any... Um, certain curiosities about how the game is and what settings do I run in certain aspects obviously I'm on the PC graphics wise I'm running medium at the moment I could run higher but I'm pretty much in need of a processor to be honest so I don't really run any higher just in case so um, overall that's been this video guys for some camera settings and also the uh, full feedback settings so let me know in the comments down below if you find the video informative and if we could smash 100 likes that'd be fantastic I'm not expecting this video to be particularly great off the bat but hopefully over time a lot of you guys do watch it and it helps a lot of you out but uh, I thank you guys ever so much watching and i'll see you in my next video very soon goodbye